Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial and today we're going to be talking about nesting comps. Now, nesting a comp is all it is is taking a composition and putting it within another composition and um, I'm talking about this now because it kind of acts like a alternative to parenting and um, you can use that if you plan ahead and you can apply different effects to um, the parented layers all at once and you can also um, add opacity and other things that you can't do while you have layers parented so I'm gonna show you about that stuff but I want to tell you a cool story real quick because I haven't told one in my past few tutorials in a little while now the story I want to tell you about is about wasps and since I live in uh, New York there is a bunch of wasps that decide to come out and build nests on your house and stuff like that and they're pretty much a nuisance and I really don't like wasps that much I've gotten stung by them several times in my life and it really they just really suck not like the not like bumblebees who like kinda stay away from you and just go do their own thing I'm talking about these wasps that will come in like try to like defend their territory and sting you and some of them live in the ground and some of them don't and it really sucks so I saw this uh, article yesterday actually and it made me like really not like wasps even more so I'll bring it over and we got a wasp here it's probably not in my area I didn't read where it was but they now have zinc tipped uh, drill bits in there and in the, their stingers and they use it to like drill into like um, like figs and things like that and what's gonna happen when the wasps are on me evolve with like metal drill bit stingers that shit's gonna hurt so hopefully that doesn't happen so let me get off of that topic because oh man I just don't really like wasps They're probably one of the, my least favorite things in the world so let's well that and uh oh, never mind i'm not gonna even say it let's get on to, to the tutorial um so we're gonna uh talk about nesting instead of parenting so let me go over parenting like really 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 quick with parenting you're allowed to uh like have objects follow another object by their position, the scale, and the, um, what was the other one? And rotation. That was the other one. Okay. So you can have like these two objects, uh, these two logos follow this logo over here by its anchor point on the position scale or rotation. But what you can't do is lower the opacity you can't add effects that affect them all and then you can't um, you can't move around like the anchor point or anything like that to um, of these ones to af get affected by or of this one to get affected by the other ones so what do you need to do to if you really need to um, add those uh, different kind of things do you really want to go into each layer and add the effect on or go into each layer and an personally animate the uh, opacity and everything like that you, know, you could do that if you only had a couple things or if you want to be faster you would just add the or turn this into a comp and just nest everything together so here's what I'm talking about let's go and um, turn these into a comp so we can add effects and, and uh, change like the opacity and stuff so what we're gonna do is click on everything that we want to be in our composition so that's gonna be all these layers right here that I have so let's go into layer and we're gonna go to pre-compose or you can just start out your entire composition with just these in it and then create another composition to put them in so we're gonna pre-compose these into another composition <clears throat> and usually what you wanna keep on uh, do is move all attributes into the new comp composition and they've got little uh, um, 
little captions here to tell you what's going on. And this one says, use this option to place the currently selected layers together into a new intermediate composition. So I'm going to name it up here and we'll name this logo and hit OK. So now we've got all our logo all together in one composition and we can apply effects to this composition. You can see the composition down here in the layers panel and have it selected. So now I can animate things such as the opacity and the opacity of everything will get affected. And I can add effects. Let's add a uh, effect. Um, let's, let's do a fast one. Blur. Let's add fast blur because that's my go-to fast one there. And now everything's going to get blurred. And if you remember that with a parent, it doesn't work that way. So with a, a comp, nested comp, you can actually go into the composition and adjust anything that you actually need to adjust. And you can add animations and then it'll appear correctly within the uh, nested or within the regular comp. So that's what nesting t compositions is good for. Now this nested comp is usually called a pre-comp and some people will call it an intermediary comp but um, most people call it a pre-comp. That's why when you go into layer pre-compose it's that's what that's where they got the name pre comp from and that just means that it's not your final comp that's uh, going to be fully rendered out you're gonna have it within another comp or nested within another composition so I'll end there for this introduction tutorial and then uh, the next couple tutorials will be about a little bit more about what you can do with uh, pre comps besides just adding blurs and changing their opacity and things like that so thanks for watching this one and stay up to date by subscribing and you'll see when the next uh, tutorials come out about uh, pre-comping. And thanks for watching this one. Have a good one everybody.